With their second to last pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos drafted their third receiver in Tyree Cleveland. While he is a receiver, he has a different skill set and ability than the other two receivers they drafted. The young receiver is just 22 years old and will turn 23 not long after the season is set to kick off. He attended the University of Florida, where he contributed on special teams as well as a receiver. During his four years at Florida, he never broke 500 receiving yards in a season and had less than 1,300 total yards in his career. However, he did average 16.1 yards per reception, so he took advantage of what chances he got. As a prospect, it was a very interesting study because there was a lot of inconsistency to his game. One game he would look terrible, and then the next game he would look clean and crisp as a prospect. While he had only 10 returner attempts at Florida, he has the traits that you look for in being an NFL returner. The patience is there, the ability to make people miss, and then decent open field speed to capitalize. There is another way for him to contribute on special teams, and that is as a gunner. When he was tasked with doing so at Florida, he looked really solid there, and he has the size and speed you look for in gunners. At one point, it was thought he can compete for the roster this year, but cutting the preseason to two games and no offseason programs has really made it seem unlikely he makes it, but could be in play for 2021. Denver has added a lot of talent to their receivers for the 2020 season, so if he wants to make it, he will have to be something special on special teams. Other than that, there just doesn't seem to be a spot for him. 2021 could be when we really see the Broncos' work start to pan out with Cleveland. In workout videos, he has looked really improved from college tape, but that is against air and not in actual game settings. Cleveland has potential to be a solid number four receiver in the NFL and a core special teams player, but the Broncos and receivers coach Zach Azani have a lot of work to do to get him to that point. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.